Hello and welcome to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes Grand Arena Championships Season 19, Week 4, Round 3. This is the championship match of this bracket and the final match of this season. You can see that I am rank 118 in Division 4. If I finish undefeated, I may actually make the top 100. Let's see who my opponent is this round. LS31. If that sounds familiar, it's because I just faced LS31 last week. So this is the first time I'm having a rematch in Grand Arena, and I don't know if I should expect LS31 to set the exact same defense or to change everything completely. Let's go to the Hotbot for a quick comparison. The Hotbot shows a lot of green on my side, but a few areas of red on LS31 side. So let's zoom in and take a closer look. We just fought this opponent last week and not much has changed here. His guild GP is still low, but it doesn't seem to have affected his roster. He still has Watt and both of the Get 2 ships. His GAC, his GAC stats are still very solid. They show that he is a very good player. Best score over 51k. Lifetime banners almost 720k. Defends 527, offensive wins 825, very, very solid numbers. So LS31 is definitely a strong player. There's a reason I faced this guy in the finals of the bracket two weeks in a row. He is a good player. In the roster section of this report, it shows that LS31 has 100,000 more galactic power than I do. I do have the higher top 80 though but he has the higher top 65. I've got 23 more Zetas, and I do have a little bit more speed on average at the top of my roster. He has two more Gear 13 characters, and we are even on Gear 12 characters. I have 11 more Gear 11 and above. I have 63 more six-stop mods, and I do have more mods with high-speed secondaries. The Relic Summary shows that he has 30 more total Relic levels, even though he only has two more Gear 13 characters, and a lot of that is that he relics more characters up to Tier 6 and 7, and leaves fewer characters down here at Tier 1 to 2. In the meta character section, nothing is different from the Hotbot report last week. Neither one of us has a Galactic Legend, and we have the other four reliced up. However, that Hotbot report last week was actually wrong about General Skywalker. He does now have General Skywalker at Relic 2. Last week, he didn't Relic his Skywalker until after the round had locked in. And so his General Skywalker was actually only Gear 12 when we faced each other last week. So this is a little bit of an improvement for him here. He's going to have his Relic Skywalker this time. Once again, you can also see that he does have a faster Darth Revan than I have. So even though I've got the higher average speeds, he has the higher fastest character. In the key characters and important ships, nothing has really changed from last week. This all looks pretty much exactly the same. So let's go back to the game and take a closer look at LS31's roster. LS31 is running Jedi Knight Luke in the arena and the Negotiator in the fleet arena. I don't think there's much that's changed in his roster since last week. It is a very good roster. He's got a lot of Jedi, obviously, from getting Jedi Knight Luke. He's got some Separatists. He's got a Darth Revan squad. He's got Bosk. He's got 501st clones, Palpatine and Vader, Padme squad, Kylo Ren unmasked, Jedi training Rey. So a very, very solid roster. Nothing really jumps out as being terribly unusual. There aren't any really big holes in this roster. So we'll see what adjustments LS31 makes after our battle last week, and hopefully I can win again. All right, the attack phase has begun. Let's take a look at the board. Now, when I was setting my defense, I had a decision to make. This is my first time ever doing a rematch. So I didn't know, should I change my defense significantly or keep it the same? In the end, I figured he would probably make very few changes on his side, so I probably needed to make very few changes on my side. Now, one relatively large change I made was with squad placement. 
So you'll see up here in the top zone, I've got my Darth Revan squad. This is usually a squad I hide in the back. And usually up front is Jedi Knight Luke. This was actually an unintentional change. I actually clicked on the wrong zone. I opened up this top zone and I started placing squads. So I placed Darth Revan and I placed my thermal detonator squad. And then I realized that I was in the wrong zone, that I was thinking ahead to what I was going to put in the back and accidentally put two of those squads here. So this zone is not as tough as it usually is. I did make a change with my bounty hunters. I put Grief Karga here instead of Cad Bane. And that's because I just haven't had any success with Aura, Grief, and Mando on offense. My Aura Sing is still too low geared. She's only, I think, four or five star. And that just has not been working for me. So I decided it was kind of a waste to save him for offense. So I put him on defense. Now in the bottom zone, I didn't really change anything. I've got General Grievous, Dooku with Night Sisters, and Savage Malik. In the back, I've placed Newt, Jedi Knight Luke, Bam, and when I faced him last week, I had IG-88 in this spot. So I do think this is a little bit trickier having Beskar Armor Mando here. So hopefully that makes that a little bit tougher to take out. He actually got a 54 against this squad last time. But again, it was IG-88 in the lead instead of Beskar Mando. Hux First Order and Mothma. I have never set Mothma on defense before, not that I can recall at least. I thought it would be a little bit of an upgrade from Phoenix. So I do think he probably has the squads to full clear me. The way that this is set up with Revan here instead of Jedi Luke, I think this is an easier defense to get through. I do think that how you set your squads, which zones you put them in, does make a big difference. And so it would not surprise me if he looked up counters to make sure he knew how to counter Jedi Luke and everything like that so that he can clear me this time. It would not surprise me in the least. So let's see what he did on defense. This is his one big change up front. He could not get through my Jedi Knight Luke, and so he decided to put his Jedi Knight Luke on defense. The rest of these squads are all squads that I had no problem with last time. We've got Knight Sisters, Grievous, and Poggle. Now there are a couple of things about this Jedi Luke squad that are important to note. Number one is there is Jolie, and so if I kill Luke first, Jolie can revive him. The other thing is, these are all really slow characters. I put Hermit Yoda with my Jedi Luke to make that squad fast, so that Luke can get a turn quickly and slow the other team down. This is not going to slow me down. There are no changes here in the bottom zone. He's got his boss, Boba and Dengar, his First Order, and his Rolo squad. Now the big question is, did he change anything in this back zone? If you remember from last week, he had General Skywalker back here. Now his General Skywalker has gone from gear 12 up to Relic, I think Relic 2 or Relic 3, so that alone would make this back zone more difficult. But the question is, if he's putting Jedi Luke on defense, is he also putting General Skywalker back here? Because that does not leave him as much for offense, and he failed to clear me the first time. So we're going to have to check and see if his General Skywalker is back here or not. Now he could have made this even trickier on me. If he had put his Jedi Luke in the front, I would be forced to use something good up front here. But as is, I can use B squads to clear this front zone. And then if he has put anything really strong in the back, I should still have good counters for those squads. So I'm going to switch over to my phone and take out this bottom zone and open up the back.
All right, so right now we're just going to open up the back zone. So we'll start on the bottom here. I'm going to use the exact same counters we used last time. So against Bosk. We're going to go G and Oceans. Get rid of that taunt. Do a big hit here. We'll go after Boba Fett. Definitely not going as smoothly as last time. Let's go ahead and... Hmm. I'd like to save the heal until after the bomb... After the bombs go off. But I think maybe I can do a heal now and then get back around to it later. That's the hope at least. There goes Boba. Do a big hit here on Dengar. Almost got him. We'll work on Boss slowly here. One more turn until we get back to the heal. Good. Goodbye, boss. There's the heal. And 54. Perfect. Gets Rolo, Cholo, and Lando. Last time I took my Bastila with Ezra and Kanan, so we'll do that again. And try and stun Rolo. Nope. And we'll go after Captain Han. Keep the taunt up on Kanan. Oh, we missed. Let's see if we can stun. There we go. Let's get rid of Captain Han. There we go. Almost threw my protection up on Kanan. Goodbye, Rolo. I'm going to call Kanan to get him more protection up. And 54. Against the First Order, we'll take Jedi Training Ray. Try and stun OG Kylo. Nope. 
More Wiggle. More Wave on Kylo Ren Unmasked. Now oh, let's get rid of Red. There we go. him again. Keep the ability block on him. Let's get rid of him. Excellent. Going to try and get around to the Illuminated Destiny here. Just doing basics. Done, please. There we go. I did a basic there with uh, BB-8 because that puts tenacity down so that Archie can land the stun. Hopefully he didn't take too much damage and Illuminated Destiny will still heal him up. Wave. One more turn. Okay, eliminated Destiny. Oh, we're very close. Very close. Fifty three. Alright, let's see what's in the back. Okay, so we do have General Skywalker. We've got Shock Clones. Mothma. Mothma last time was up front where that Jedi Knight Luke is. Newt Dooku and Jango. And then Karth. So the squad that's missing here is Leia, Chupio, and Ezra. And that's actually the squad that I lost to last time going for the feat. So it's interesting, the one squad that I lost against was the squad that they decided to remove. Okay, I'm going to make a plan and I will come back. All right, we're going to go up to the top here. And we're going to go against the Jedi Luke. I'm going to take my Vader. With Thrawn and Watt. Now Watt will put the weapons tech on Vader that will prevent revives. Thrawn is there to fracture Luke if the culling blade doesn't kill him. Okay, so we put the weapons tech on Vader. Now they won't be able to get any revives if Vader does the killing. We start with Merciless Massacre. We do Force Crush. Now we're gonna throw this. I hope it's enough. It was. Put the healing tech there. We'll go ahead and fracture Jolie. Do protection up. The force crush. And fifty four. Next up, we're going to go to the back and go after Gas with CLS, Han, and Chewie. Of 
Last time this got me a 52. We're gonna go ahead and stun Rex. If we can stun Skywalker, no. Let's get him down. There we go. And hopefully, I don't kill Rex on a counter attack. Get him down, get him down. Nice. Hopefully we don't get executed here. The days on Chewie isn't good. There was the Rexicute. All right. Can Han and Chewie do it together? Okay, only a 48. So that's the difference between a Gear 12 gas and a Relic gas. We're gonna go back up to the front and clear that zone, and then we'll come back to the back here. Against Grievous, I'm going to go with my Night Sisters. This is not a high banner counter, but it saves my other good squads to use in other places. I don't really have another good place to use Night Sisters. Go for the stun. Go for another stun. And the play. Knock down some stacks here. And I'm going to call back Spirit. Now we'll take out the B1. We'll bring them back. Oh, only one of them came back. Okay, assisting from the grave is good here. Stun is nice. Put the flag on him. Bring back Spirit. Stun. All right, 51. Okay, against Poggle and the Droids, I'm going to take my Padme squad. And I'm actually going to take in Ahsoka because she has the dispel and so I'll be able to dispel Droidica. Okay, we'll do the AoE. Let's get rid of that damage immunity. Let's go after B2. See if we can stun Droidica. You know, we've almost got Droidica gone. Let's just get rid of him. Let's 
So not great banners here. 51. But that's okay. I'm going to come back to the Night Sister Squad. Against the Karth Squad, I'm going to go with Kylo Ren Unmasked. Executioner and Officer. Uh, let's go ahead and just hit Karth. Now we'll stun mission. like a 52 here. Oh, well, maybe a 53. 53. Against the Newt Gunray squad, we're going to take General Skywalker and Arc Trooper. After Dooku first. We just need him to come out of damage immunity. There we go. So 53 there. And Shock T. We're going to go Jedi Revan, Grandmaster Yoda. We're going to mark Shock T. Foresight. Fast turn meter. 54. Against Mothma. We're going to go with Treya. Scion. We put the isolate here on Biggs. Forceful. Pain. Start working on Wedge. Hatred.
Hmm, they've almost gotten through Treya. That's not good. Increase their cooldowns again. We'll re-up the Isolate. Get rid of Wedge. More Pain. Fifty one. Now against the Night Sisters, I usually use Kylo Ren Unmasked with Executioner and Watt, but I already used Watt. So I need to come up with a different counter here. You can see I've got some scraps of some squads here. I could do... I could do Shock Troopers. I could do Palpatine, Wampa, and Gideon. I could maybe do Troopers. I kind of want to give my Troopers a try. I know it's a little bit risky. I've never used them before for Night Sisters, but I know a lot of people do it. I just don't know if the comp that I have is any good for it. I have Veers, Gideon, and Dark Trooper. The rest of my troopers are gear nine or lower. Let's give this a try, and if it doesn't work, we'll do something else. Foolish to put the armor shred there, I think. Because as soon as the uh, the zombie dies, it goes away. Oh no, it stayed. All right. I thought it would go away. All right, let's go after Talzin. This gives turn meter. Mm. Now this isn't working. Darn it. is just not the right comp. And I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that probably has something to do with it. I'm going to go with Finn and the Resistance Bros. Because they have a good amount of healing on that squad. And you need that against the play. Throw the healing grenade. Get the inspired up. I think I'm going to lose Finn. That's two deaths for Talzin. Oh, I 
had her dead and she came back. That's frustrating. Oh, and then Talzin came back. Oh, that was foolish. I should have just not attacked. Oh, I feel dumb now. Losing to Night Sisters. This is shameful. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm very focused right now. Oh, why am I attacking? As soon as I started talking, I lost my focus. Okay. Twenty-four. That was sad, guys. That was so sad. Three battles against Night Sisters. I just chose my counters poorly. Chose my counters poorly. I'm going to go against the Malevolence with the Negotiator. Anakin Here come the buzz droids And here comes Flo Koon to get rid of the buzz droids Try turn meter We should go back going after Sunpack whenever he's got the taunt. There are the bombs. Let's get rid of Sunpack. There we go. Do a bombing run. Taunt up. Get rid of this bomber. There we go. Sixty-six.
You can tell when I'm upset with myself because I get very quiet. on them. Let's get rid of Kylo. Bring them in the spy. Get rid of Vader. And get rid of the tie. 64. Twenty-seven ninety-six, not a good score at all. Two battles dropped to the Night Sisters. I simply did not adjust my offense. I did all the same counters and left myself nothing good to go against the Night Sisters there. So I should have changed things up. I had other good squads I could have used against the Night Sisters, and those squads that lost to the Night Sisters could have beaten other squads. So. Kudos to LS31 for making the change on defense. Well, let's see what he does against my defense. All right, so we've got a little bit more than two and a half hours left in the attack phase. Let's take a look at the board. So far, he has cleared three zones. Here on the bottom, he one-shot Dooku and Grievous, but then it took him three tries to get through Malak. In the top zone, he one-shot each of these squads. So as I suspected, my mess up in placing my squads did make that zone easier. That allowed him to open the ship zone, and he one-shot each of my fleets. That's not a surprise. I didn't put either of my top two fleets back here. Now, he has not attacked in the back zone, but he did the same thing last week where he waited, there was a gap, he attacked, and then there was a gap, and he waited until right near the end before he came back and attacked again. So I suspect he'll do the same thing this time. We are completely even right now. We've each lost two times to the same squad, and so it's anybody's game. Mathematically, he actually has to average over a 53 in order to win. So that is a tall order, but it is doable. So we'll come back in two and a half hours and see what he does. All right, so there's the win against LS31. Let's take a look at the board and see what he did against my last five squads. He did come back and attack. Four out of five are still standing though. So who did he beat? He defeated my BAM squad. Okay, Beskar Mando went down, but he failed against Jedi Knight Luke once, and then he quit. So I expected him to look up counters for this squad, but either he didn't do that, or maybe he had to use the counter up front to beat Malak. I don't know. So the final score is 2796 to 2321. I am still kind of kicking myself about that Night Sister squad. I should have just gone with the Shock Troopers to begin with. I just have been so reliant on the same counter for Night Sisters for so long that when I didn't have that counter available, I didn't know what to do. So this was a, a good learning experience for me. I'll put this in my back pocket and take it with me in the future. Next time I don't have my normal counter for something, I will maybe take a break and make sure that I can find a good counter before just throwing whatever out there. So I'd like to say thank you to LS31 for the rematch, and thank you all for watching. I will see you next week when we start Season 20, a new season of 5v5, the first under the new format where we set extra teams on defense. It should be exciting. I'll see you then.